here it is partial becoming generalized i think there's no need of detail yes generalized we need to go into detail few words generalized epilepsy may be absence epilepsy it may be yes very common absence is also called pitted small epilepsy i will go into detail of this right now then there is tonic clonic epilepsy which is also called yes please grand mal then patient's body just stiffens that is tonic someone patient's body is bilaterally jerk what is that clonic some one muscle or small group of muscles jerk myoclonic yes very good and if patient loses the total tone a tonic now i will go into detail of first two cases because last are very easy patient's body in tonic case stiffens and then it become normal clonic simultaneously both part of the body both half of the body jerk and then patient become normal myoclonic one muscle or one group of muscle abnormally jerk and then person become normal atonic all the body loses tone and then patient become normal but we will go into detail of tonic clonic and absence you want detail of absence first or tonic clonic first okay. absence ha, actually in absence seizure most of these seizures start in childhood these are very brief episodes of epilepsy and one day in every day there may be multiple cases these are very brief frequent attacks of epilepsy in which in absence case in which person become mentally absent what really happens for example there is a child who is eating something and talking to his mother during the eating suddenly he brings the food here will stop like this remain few seconds like this maybe he will blink his eyes or little bit some automatic movement after 10 second he again start eating as if nothing happened and if he has stopped the sentence in mid sentence wherever he stop he will carry on from there what is absence seizure in absence seizure uh, what really happens you can say patients all activity has a pause and then again start from where it was stop right these patient who are having absence seizure they may develop sometimes hundreds of the attack per day 5 3 second attack 5 second attack 10 second attack usually they are very brief attack and usually these are multiple attacks these absence which uh, epilepsy usually starts in children is that right and as the child grows up usually they grow out of absence either but unfortunately some of them develop tonic clonic epilepsy again so absence epilepsy as ch ch child age grows he grows out of this situation so it means absence epilepsy is basically not a childhood disease and as children grow uh, they will recover out of it but unfortunately some children may develop tonic clonic problem with that right now absence has a one very special type of you can say uh, eeg pattern and this is the only eeg pattern good students should know you are not supposed to remember all the eeg pattern of every epilepsy but about absence because it is very characteristic there is spike and wave pattern the spike and wave pattern spike and wave pattern there is always a spike followed by some sort of wave a spike and then there is a spike wave spike wave spike wave and frequency is 3 per second 3 cycles per second the typical eeg which is spike and wave pattern during absence seizure right it will be in right hemisphere or left more frequently of course it is generalized it must be on the both sides right spike and wave pattern three three cycles of spikes and waves per per second is that right now what really happens that in this particular case right uh, this is almost diagnostic for what absence seizure right and it is best treated by ethosuximide it is best treated by ethosuximide and how ethosuximide work reduce the calcium and flux in thalamic neurons write it down another important thing which i want to tell you that in absence seizure a, a ethosuximide which is best first line drug for the absence seizure it reduces the calcium and flux in thalamic neurons right and actually this is abnormal pattern of firing by thalamic neuron which make the conscious level altered but it does not make the person hypotonia so person does not fall 
down. Usually in petrit mal person does not fall down. Then we come to tonic clonic. Tonic clonic has different phases. Some people talk in some cases is prodrome. Then there is yes aura. Then there is tonic phase. I will explain every stage. Then of course there it will be followed by clonic phase. And then there be will be yes clonic phase and then it may be followed by post ectal phase. Post ectal phase. Few words about everything. Prodrome. Prodrome is clinic, it is actually, it occurs before the seizure, it is not the part of the seizure. And usually prodrome, during prodrome patient develops some abnormality which others people can also observe. For example, behavioral abnormality or mood abnormality or some motor abnormality. So during the prodrome, prodrome of a seizure, patient may or may not be aware but others are aware of this. Then some patient go into aura, remember, aura is a part of the seizure. Aura is part of the seizure and aura is only perceived by the patient not by the onlookers. As aura there may be strange smells or there may be strange taste or strange gut feelings right like that. So prodrome is many hours and days before the attack aura is just before the attack rather we should say prodrome is before the attack and aura is the earliest phase of the attack. Prodrome can be observed by the others, aura is only pursued by the patient. Then we come to the tonic. During this phase of attack, person rapidly loses consciousness and all the body becomes stiffened. All the body becomes stiffened. During this phase, patient may develop cyanosis and may have a cry. Why the cry is there? When respiratory muscle undergoes spasticity, maybe rapidly air come out of larynx and that produces a cry. And if spasticity uh, last longer when respiratory muscles are stiffened for longer time what really happens patient cannot breathe well so cyanosis may develop so we can say the special features and tonic may be number one the stiffening of the body number two yes yes please patient may cry and then there may be cyanosis <laughs> then we come to the clonic phase in clonic phase what really happens muscles start jerking the intermittently contract and relax. Okay, agonist and antagonist fire alternatively. Right? This is the phase during which not only all the body is jerking bilaterally, but there may be risk of tongue biting. Because tongue is also violently moving in the oral cavity and pterygoids are also moving jaws. Right? Temporalis and other muscles of mastication. So side of the tongue may be caught and badly bitten or crushed by the jaw. What is the best way to prevent the tongue biting? Yeah. For example, shoe of someone? Yes, there was a theory that uh, if a person is going into grand mall, you open his mouth and put something in maybe uh, handkerchief or maybe some plastic or something. The latest concept is don't do anything. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything. Because when patient is stiffened, he does not open his mouth. And when he is passing through, which phase? Clonic. Clonic phase. You put anything in his mouth, he will crush that and add to injuries. Right? Now they are saying that don't try to put many things in their mouth. In prodrome, yani, uh, when patient has prodrome, it is five days before the attack, he should put some bottle in his mouth and waiting for the attack, it will just too early. Right? So anyway, they say that it's not much helpful, even though conventionally many... Uh, people believe that there should be something inserted in the mouth, but it really doesn't help much except you lose that thing, right? Then, so clonic phase, it is one feature that tongue biting can occur. What is the other feature of clonic phase? Urinary or fecal incontinence, where urinary sphincters uh, or inner sphincters intermittently become tight and loose. So, there may be incontinence in clonic phase. And after that, when the patient go into post phase, during post phase, patient become drowsy, patient become relaxed, right? Patient become irritable. Remember, as you irritate the patient, some patient may even attack you during post phase, right? And don't leave the patient alone during post phase, right? Because sometimes uh, status epilepticus may come, right? So, post phase, patient usually sleeps during that. After many hours, patient will feel normal right 
So this is something about the different types of epilepsy. Yeah. Look, 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 look. In generalized, what really happens in, during myoclonic, even though one muscle moves, right after that patient become unconscious or during that patient become unconscious. So it means it is generalized. And with that, this was the muscle which specially responded. Right? Yeah.